guys, it's Kate. Welcome to Go Parental Narcissist 101. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do. So this topic, guys, is uh, why they were successful messing up your life. Why they were successful damaging your credits, uh, finances, relationship with other people. Um, you, know, you name it. Whatever it is, because, you know, usually that's what they're there for. They're out to get you because they want to make sure that by the time they leave, the relationship or that you you know understand what's going on and run off that they've done enough damage that you will never recover because at the end of the day their their plan is to always have whatever side that they're on to be great wonderful and you on the other hand suffering because you're not thriving that they, they, they feel like they'll be happy that they've done enough damage that you don't ever get up again from the ground you know now why why, why were they successful with this uh, well simple you don't see them coming there's no way you see these people coming with the litany of the things that they're planning to do and the th thing that they've already done and you just walk in there. You don't see them coming. So they are very good actors. They are very good um, manipulators that they, you know, they come out and show you exactly what you want to see. They show you exactly what you want to see. You know, and that's why it's, it's a big red flag anyway when you get into a relationship with somebody and they're all, they're all doing everything. Everything is so nice. You know, they, they, whatever it is you want to hear, they're telling you, they're doing all every, everything that you want. You know, that, that as we know it now is the love bomb stage because, yeah, if it's too sweet, too early, too soon, yeah, something is off. <laughs> Something's definitely off. So, yes, you, they are successful because you don't see them coming. You don't see them coming, that's one thing. And the second, because you don't see them coming, you are operating as a team. You think you're operating with as a team, that you have an ally. You know, so we are working together. We are paying all these bills together. Meanwhile, they are busy siphoning money from the side. They are busy cheating you out of uh, money. And you're thinking that, oh, yeah, we're this, we have a plan together. We have a goal together. The whole time, they are working against you. So the whole time you're out there thinking that it's you and the person against the world, you are their biggest enemy. <laughs> They've made you their biggest enemy. And because you don't know this and are still operating on the fact that you are a team, you are, oh, you are wide open. You know, there's, you're not getting anything. Everything is there, which they, of course, continually, continuously utilize. Taking advantage of the fact that you don't know what they're talking about. Because I tell you, if they come up straight and say, this is exactly what I'm going to do, or at least show all of those things they're doing in the beginning, that this is probably what life is going to look like. Nobody's going to walk in there willingly like, oh, yeah, sure, let's let's go. Unless somebody like them and then, you know, they go there and they self-implode. And then that's, that's a whole different story. But they they they. Take advantage of the fact that you don't know who they are. And then in their mind, because that's the only way they win. Because that's, that's the only way they win. They want to win. They want to get over you know, on you. They want to take whatever it is that they run in there for, uh, came and attach themselves, whether it's money or the way you're nice to people or the, like your personality. They think they cannot, they, they'll take on those things. So when they realize they can't, obviously, then that they, decide, they seek to destroy it. And you thinking that, oh, yeah, we are, you know, we're a team, he's an ally, you know, this is my husband right here, this is my wife over here, my girlfriend, my boyfriend. Uh, yeah, the whole time they're looking at this enemy thinking, what else can I do to make her look bad in front of these people? What else can I do to make him lose his job? What kind of else can I do to make sure that his friends don't come over here anymore? This is all they're thinking about. That's all they're thinking about. The whole time you're thinking, we're going to send the kids off to college together. We're going to pay off this mortgage. We're going to pay, pay this rent. We're going to pay off this debt. You know, we're going to go open this business together. No, their mind is focused on how do I get over on you? You, <laughs> you that think that you're planning. So it's like I said, I, I, I used this before where I said, this is it's like a, it's a bucket that you think you're pouring water into. Meanwhile, the covert narcissist secretly put holes in, under the bucket every chance they get. Whenever you're not looking, you know, they put holes in it. So you continuously pouring water into a bucket and it's constantly leaking. It never gets full. Never gets full because they are busy setting up, setting up fires that you are thinking, oh, we need to solve this problem. So you're putting that fire thinking that you're doing it together. No, they set it up again and they know if this, this fire is going, you're trying not to put the fire out. By the time that one is done, <laughs> there's another one. You know, so they take advantage of the fact that you don't, they don't know who you, they, you don't know who they are. They hide themselves well, which is, you know, of course, these people are cowards because they think that they are winning. They think that they are doing all this stuff. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm smarter than you. I know all this stuff. When the only reason, the only reason why it looks like they are doing anything 
It's because you don't know. The, you don't know who they are. They are not offering with who they are. They are not showing with it. even the things that they are doing while you're in the house with them is covered. That there is behind the scenes. They don't come out and just say it. You know, slowly this that's exactly how they started. So by the time it gets to the end, yeah, that's when you might you, you know you will see the the mass will drop and you see it. But in the beginning, as things are going, they slowly do this behind the scenes where you know you're thinking that we're together when really you are not. <laughs> You've never been. You might have been in a relationship, you might have been with them, but they, they were never with you. <laughs> they were never with you. All right, guys, get a hold of your mind and everything's falling into place. Please like and share. Take care.